20 amps on one leg and 40 amps on the other. I hear it clicking in here. Looks like somebody has completely redone that. But, but they don't have they don't have the blower relay set up to um, handle electric heat I'll try to show you what I mean this right here just black wire is right here on this side and then that gives you power all the time but what we need is power over here run to the normally closed and I'll bring on the blower Okay, this whole thing is wired incorrectly for the heat strips. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna get y'all set up in here. This wire should be going here and this wire should be going there. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's start making changes. All right, I just need to make sure one more time we don't have power. Nothing, nothing. All right. All right, your heat strip has to have 240 volts. And whoever wired this up did not exactly understand how they work. <laughs> All right. All right. Now the heat strips will work, but how about the fan? All right, as y'all see, this black wire right here. Hold on. That black wire right there goes over here. The 
this is going to be my my common and they're feeding blue with it and this is going to be my run it's got power all the time and over here on the blower relay that, that common is broken and closes when there's a a call on green all right over here we got green green and common from my low voltage this is normally closed and this is normally open and this is from a blower so we need to run a power wire from here to here all right what i'm doing is um when this is energized that's for your heat strips i wish the guy that was that wired this up was here you see it i've i've got it on the same leg that is normally open this one right here so this is going to be on normally closed that way the blower will come on when the heat strips are energized the fact you know some of these may have been energized before but let's see um let's see how it does now i walk right past this and don't realize that the hole is right there all right the blower came on was the last guy to come out here um uh, was he really young or Alright, this is what I'm looking for. That's what we call a teardrop fusible link. There are others. Here's one that's round. These are for those um, warring heat strips. And these are some round ones that connect directly to the heat strip itself. And I'll tell you when I read across the um the one that's bad in there it read 120 volts normally if it's bad it's going to read a 240 volts but um hold on but I was getting a hundred yeah it said it, it would read 120 volts when I tested across it it should read zero Normally, if it's bad, they read 240. So, um, let's see if this remedies my problem. All right, no power. Alright, we got us a new sequencer in there. I mean, excuse me, fusible link. Let's check it again. Alright, I'm 
we're still in 20 years. Alright, that one's now pulling 20. seeing what I'm seeing here. Twenty amps on one leg and forty amps on the other. Tell me how that can be. <laughs> I'm not. All right, I'm pulling 20 amps on one side and 40 amps on the other. Both heat strip strips are getting 240 volts. The way you measure that, you measure from here to here. If you're getting 240 volts across your heat strip and it's not pulling amps, I'm talking at the very terminals on the end, then you have a broken heat strip. I'm not pulling amps on this side, but I am on this side. Just a second, just a second ago, y'all saw me checking from the cabinet to a ground because I'm thinking that this heat strip is somehow shorted to ground in there. Yeah, there's something wrong in there. I'm gonna try to see if I can see it. I'm a little bit hesitant to um, take this out because sometimes they have a rack for the heat strips to be suspended in between. And then there's a piece of metal that sticks out the end that goes in a tiny little hole and it's, it can be hard to, I don't wanna say it. It can be hard to hit the hole. Alright, 
there's that piece that I was telling you about. And back there, if you can see it, is the hole. Let's take this outside and get a better look at it. Now I see it. That one's broken. Yeah, that one's broken, so that's why I wasn't getting any amps over here on this one. But why was I getting... Why was it pulling 40 amps on this side? Hmm, I do not understand. But we know he needs at least one. These all seem to be in decent shape. You got to be real careful with those things. Sometimes these brackets are rusted through and these little pieces in here are really fragile. Y'all will see there's a chance I could break one of them when I restring it. Let me contact the owner and see what he wants to do. I'm trying to call the owner right now. <clears throat> All right, I had to leave a message. I have texted him and I have left him a message. I mean, I've already got one of these on here. <clears throat> That's the one I'm working on. And I have an outstanding invoice on that one. So I'm not, um, I'm gonna wait until I get approval. All right, I did get approval. So we are on our way to go pick up a couple of small diameter 5KW heat strips. Here we go. Gotten where the here we go. I hope that means it's five KW. Two of those. Let's get two extra. I don't see any. Here's the here's the large diameter ones. Y'all see the difference in those? I'll take one of those too. Hold on. All right, this requires um, reusing the ceramic that's there. I'm gonna take it anyway. All right, guys. First order, what I do with these is, um, first order, what I do with these is I, I basically cut them. Then we undo these little screws and it looks like with, um, with these, that's exactly what I need. It's already soldered to the screw and I have replacement porcelain um but getting them the right length 
That's the hard part. Let's get to it. You do not want to damage these porcelain pieces because I may not be able to find any more of those. All right, this pulled out. Right, I'm back. He let me keep this. That was real nice. Let's check this one. Seems about arm's length. I can um I can adjust a little bit at a time once I get it in here. I'm trying to make sure that I... oh it comes with a little feasible link. So this is how this goes. This in here. Put it through there. This has a little square piece that fits down in the square hole right there. Put your washer on it. And then the nut. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna put. Go ahead and put this on. built into it. <clears throat> this thing does not want to turn like the threads are a little bit boogered. Stretches. I normally do them at arm's length and my arms are about just a little over six feet. Be honest, I'm a little bit surprised at how how good a shape this porcelain is in.
I'm stretching it a little bit more. right on have to do a little bit of more a little bit more stretching it looks like Whew. I'm gonna fast forward through the second one I just want to show you all how to do one of these I'm blocking the sun y'all might not be able to see that all right that worked out pretty good piece goes right here and if y'all can see there's a square hole right there you use this that goes in the square hole get you a washer put your wire on This is 11.30 seconds. That's good. So that's one heat strip. Obviously you want to make sure that it it's not touching any metal anywhere and when you string the other one you want to make sure that it's not touching the other one All right, this is what I ended up with. You see how this piece sticks out just a little bit. So we're gonna, the cabinet's gonna be right here. Pull that in. touching anywhere see how my pieces ended up right here that's the way they should look all right let's get ready to go back and install guys we are back do y'all see that little hole in the back of the cabinet back there I got to ring that With this right here All right, of course you don't want to damage anything 
get to pull these wires out of the way. All right. All right, let's get this wired back up. One of these goes here. One of these goes there. Y'all see me pressing on the top of that? That is to um, give it some stability. You don't want to tear it apart. I do the same thing with sequencers. Let's try this again. I can already smell them. Forty-one. Can y'all see them burning in there? Y'all see that one? And forty on that one. Hey, wow. All right, that's another happy customer. She has dependable heat. Yeah, it kind of had me perplexed there when I was getting 40 amps on one side and 20 on the other. It must have been touching maybe the other heat strip or something. Had to have been. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.